Hi there, this is Christoph. Um, I was uh, lucky to be a tester for the PenPod plugins beta and I wanted to show the first plugin that I started working on here. This is, uh, I call it day and night. This is an interpretation of a Figma plugin called Lights we, that allows you to easily switch between uh, light and dark modes, which is something that most design systems, a lot of applications support. So pretty common thing, um, but it's not it's often not easy to set up in design tools. So I'll just show how it works. So this is a brand new file. I just called it test chaos, but you see there's nothing on the, on the canvas here, no colors. Um, so I'm gonna hop into the plugins and you see I already have the plugin here installed. It's called day and night. Um, I'm gonna open it, then it shows up here. Nice little uh, 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 square here. I can go to how it works if I'm not familiar with it. Uh, takes me to this uh, uh, GitHub repo with a bit of an explanation, or I can create my color palette. So let's do this. All right, now we see here on the left, I have 69 colors now. Um, there are 10 neutral ones from light to dark, and then uh, a handful of other colors along the rainbow, basically. And then, uh, you know, we see there are day and night folders. And in there, you see that there are copies of those colors. So um, let's just try it out, see how this works. So I'm going to create a label here. Let's pretend I'm creating a button. Um, I'm just going to set this up here real quick. This is a pretty cool button here. Um, I want a black background and I want the label to be white. Then let's pretend this is just kind of in a, in a simple um, frame here um, with the white background. This is my pretend phone frame. Does this look like a phone frame? Not quite. Maybe this rate aspect ratio is better. So now I'm going to uh, get out of the menu here. And I see a nice little landscape here with the sun. I'm just going to click it. And it turns to night. And I click it again. It turns to the sun goes up. So uh, what happens here is um, that when I switch, let's say I switch from uh, to day, then the plugin goes into the day folder here. It looks at the color yellow here and takes this color value and it finds the primary, like in the, in the main colors folder here, it goes to this yellow here and puts the yellow in here. So let's say uh, we look at neutral nine here. Um, this is zero, 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 zero. And here in the day folder, it's zero, 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 because that's what I selected. In the night folder, neutral nine is FFFF. So let's say I go to uh, switch to night again. It's gonna be neutral nine, FFFFF. <coughs> go up here and change this neutral nine to FFFF. And since this color is applied here to the background of my button, that is going to change them. So, um, yeah, that's it. Very, very, very simple. I can go back to the menu here, um, and there's a little, little bit of a secret trick. If uh, I don't want to do this anymore, um, this is mostly for development, I can shift click day and night, and it's just going to get rid of all these colors again. That was uh, very helpful for me during development. Um, I can also, you don't have to use this color palette, you can use your own. You just have to make sure that for every color that you use, um, there is a, a copy of it with the same name in the day folder and one in the night folder. If you're not sure how to set up these uh, folders, then just try to double click uh, a color name. And you can see it's just, you just name your color night slash yellow. And then when you stop editing it, it's gonna put, create those uh, folders for you. So that's kind of it. Um, Creating this uh, plugin was fairly straightforward. I had experience from creating uh, Figma plugins already, so it's the same idea. Um, so um, it was uh, pretty straightforward uh, to get into, and I'm excited for plugins because um, you know I think plugins don't have to be just like you know a, a little menu here that allows me to do basic things. I feel like they can be uh, fun and playful, and uh, really power up. Um, our um, our design abilities and our, our design workflows. So hopefully this is a useful um, tool for you.
I do need to share the installation link. I don't have that added to the repository yet, but I'm going to make sure I add that here at the very top. The way it works is uh, to install plugins is you get a deployment URL um, and then you just put that in here, press install, and then it gets added here below. I have two copies because this is the, the one that's deployed and this is the one that I used for local uh, development. So I'm going to make sure to uh, share that that plugin URL or put it in the repository. And uh, I'm sure there are some bugs in there. Um, so I'm happy to hear uh, any feedback on what's broken and how this could be improved. Uh, so shout out to the Penfa team for creating this plugin system. I think it's a really nice power up. And that's it. Thanks.